According to the USDA, potatoes are the most consumed vegetable in the United States, with the average person eating about 50 pounds of these per year. Now, potatoes are sort of like the vodka of the vegetable world. They're a blank canvas, very versatile, and loved by the Irish. However, did you know that these precious little things can turn into something like this? I am very afraid to touch this five month old nightmare, which explains the gloves. Maybe that's why potatoes are part of the same family as nightshade, which is a poisonous clay. These ugly looking things are actually called eyes, or the bud of the potato, where a new plant originates from. And eventually the sprouting takes over to the point where it becomes wrinkly and it's malnourished. When a potato is uncovered, it basically thinks it's time to wake up. Remember, a potato is still a respiring living being that wants to bud in order to survive. In fact, these dark spots are called lenticels, which are pores that the potato uses to breathe. If the potato thinks it's time to wake up, it begins to photosynthesize, which turns the surface green. A green potato does not mean unripe potato like in mangoes. It actually means that there's the presence of a compound called solanine. Solanine is a bitter tasting alkaloid that deters animals from eating the plant. Almost all known plant alkaloids are toxic at high doses. For solanine, if you eat too much, you may feel burning in your throat, you may feel digestive problems, and you know, the casual death. Again, plants make these toxic alkaloids so that herbivores don't eat them, which is why we don't eat potato stems or leaves because of their high solanine level. But at lower doses, these alkaloids are safe to eat and can alter metabolism like caffeine or nicotine. Remember, the dose makes the poison. So can I eat the eyes of a potato? Well, the answer is no, if you're itching to do so. Please don't. Just take out the eyes with a knife and the rest of the potato is still good. But does that mean I should not eat any of the potato chips that are green because of the solanine levels? Do I have to break off every green part of the potato chip, like a cereal color? Well, those are fine. You'd probably die from eating too many potato chips than you would from the solanine levels. Plus, deep frying is an effective way of reducing solanine. If it's a raw potato though, just peel off any green surface because that's where most of the solanine is at. Plus, solanine tastes very bitter, so your taste buds will thank you. Plus, why would potato chip companies sell you product that's toxic? They probably eat more potato chips than you do. Potato chip bags actually have a shiny lining on the inside, which reflects UV light that encourages any fat oxidation and acidity. Potato chip bags are filled with nitrogen, which displaces any oxygen from reacting with the fat, and it also acts as a cushion for the potato chips. Though sometimes it seems they put too much nitrogen inside. Well, what about black bruises on potatoes? Should I eat those? Well, no. If the potato receives any damage, its enzymes are released, and these react with phenol compounds and oxygen that make light absorbing clusters. Just like with the green skin, just take them out and the rest of the potato is fine. Another defect I want to touch upon is called hollow heart which I don't know why it's such a cool name, but so that potatoes are brown, hollowed, and have a decayed look to them. It happens when growing conditions change too quickly. When a potato grows too fast, the pith starts to fall out and leaves behind a void. It's not a disease, it's not harmful, just like the other defects, take it out with a knife and eat the rest. Hopefully you use your potatoes quickly enough so that they don't become moldy. If a potato is moldy, however, just throw the whole thing away. You don't have to throw the rest of the potatoes, you just have to throw away the moldy ones. So what's the best way to store potatoes so that they avoid these issues? The best way to store them is in a dark, dry place like a cabinet or pantry. Again, potatoes will start to photosynthesize under sunlight. Even artificial light will make them turn green. Ideally, potatoes are stored at 45 to 50 degrees Fahrenheit or 7 to 10 degrees Celsius, or unless they're top, just a little bit colder than room temperature. Storing the potatoes in the fridge will start shifting their metabolism, thinking that it's almost like winter. Thus, their starches will convert into sugars, which make browner potatoes when fried. In potato chips, this becomes a problem because then they become too brown and they develop off flavors that are bitter. The point is to store them in a cabinet or pantry a little bit colder than room temperature. That's all for today's video, guys. I hope you learned something new. I do have some potato recipes that I can share if you want to see them. Check out my blog in the description box below. Like the video, subscribe, comment if you have any food questions. Have fun, use creativity. Peace.